babes, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, this is your very first time here. Today we are gonna be doing a sweat proof summer routine. It has gotten hot real quick. Half the year is just gone. Half of us don't even know where it went. But regardless, it is officially in the 90s here in St. Louis. I wanted to do a sweat proof routine for you guys, give you some tips on how to make your makeup last while you're sweating and you're hot, but you still wanna look beat. That is what we are doing today. Before we hop into it, please make sure that you hit subscribe below so that you are updated when new videos come out. Also make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that you are updated when new videos go up. Let's hop right into this. All right, babe, so we are going to start all the way from scratch since we are trying to make sure that we are sweat proof for the summertime. So we're gonna just start with the face first. So I feel like it's really important to make sure that you are moisturized before you go in with any kind of primer or any kind of product at all, especially when it is summertime and it's hot outside. We wanna make sure that our skin is moisturized, especially for my ladies who do have have more dry skin, you definitely wanna make sure that you're getting your moisture in before you start piling on products. This can work as well for people with oily skin like myself, a more combination normal to oily skin. I'm gonna be using a serum today. This serum is from Urban Elite Beauty. This is their 24K Miracle Moisture Serum. And you can find this at urbanelitebeauty.com. I will go ahead and leave the link down in the description box for you guys to check out. But I have been using this serum for about a week and a half pretty much every day, morning and night. And it has been helping my skin to stay extremely moisturized. It does go on more of a thicker formula than it kind of thins out after you put it onto the skin. I feel like using this underneath your makeup and your primer and everything is really, really helpful to make sure that you are staying moisturized. Like I said, I've been using this one lately. But any type of moisture serum or just your moisturizer underneath your makeup would be perfect. And this one in particular, it doesn't like sit on top of the skin it starts to like push itself into the skin it is also anti-aging so for my ladies who worried about bags in their eyes and everything like that this one is a good one for that it does kind of seep into the skin and kind of makes everything nice and moisturized without having like a film like a of a regular serum you know like I said the link for this serum is going to be in the description box so you guys can check it out it is a small black owned business so especially during a time like this please make sure you support our small black owned business after we are moisturized, we are gonna go in with a spray. Typically, I will do like a primer, but today, since we are trying to make sure that we are sweat proof, we want to use really lightweight products throughout the whole process. Instead of going on the face with a primer, I wanna go in with a primer spray. This one is from LA Girl, and it is to prep and hydrate the face for makeup, and it also matches my shirt today, but you know, that doesn't really matter. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. My sponge does too. I'm going to lightly spray the face with this primer spray just to get us ready for the products we're about to go in with. This is a little different from what I usually do because by this time my brows usually are done. But you know ladies who put on your brows first before you go in with anything on your skin. If you got them on all day, especially depending on what product you use and you get a little oily, you get a little hot, you get a little sweaty and you can easily do like this and your whole brow is gone. <laughs> We want to avoid that. What I'm going to do is go in and set our primer spray very lightly with powder all over the face even before brows. We all know that a good way to do this is to use a skin tone powder. So we are gonna be using yet another black owned business which is Minted Cosmetics. I'm gonna use their Skin Silk in Medium Deep. I need some more of this. I am running out because I use this stuff every time that I do my makeup. Another good one obviously is the Laura Mercier Translucent Deep, but I literally have none of this left. And I'm gonna take the bottom of my sponge, and this one is from Ofra. And with the sponge, I only wanna go over the areas where I know I'm gonna get oily, I know it's gonna be an issue for me later. So I'm gonna go over my brows, my forehead area, and around the nose as well. You know, the point of having that powder before we go in with products is to help to catch the oil before it comes through or even just catch the sweat before it comes through we're gonna sweat that's something you just can't get around but we can do certain things to try to prevent the effects of it from taking place too quick. Y'all know I usually don't go in with any product, but I did wanna do that before I went into my brows so that we got some staying power. And we are gonna do a 
wear tests today. I'm gonna keep my makeup on for the rest of the day so you guys can see our progress or what we did and see if it actually works. As far as brow products, I would recommend using a brow product that's a little more thick, that has a little more wax in the ingredients because that will help your brows to stay in place and to not smudge and like come off like we were just talking about during the day. So I'm actually gonna take my Benefit Brow Zings Pro Palette. I am gonna go into this shade right here which is kind of like a brow gel so with my angled brush I'm just gonna start to fill in my brows with that gel and because we already put on that powder it's already going on not as slick as usual like when I do do my brows so that is what we want and the thing that I love about this is that it has both a gel brow product and a powder so I'm gonna take the powder as well and kind of just go over the brow to fill it in a little bit more not to necessarily make it darker but also to set what I just did I feel like a big thing about keeping products on your face when it's hot outside is making sure you are applying it and then setting it with a powder in every step so from there I'm gonna go into my normal brow routine and go ahead and with my concealer and sculpt my brows out. By putting that powder over my eyes, I'm also noticing that the concealer didn't like go on as slick as usual, which is all a good thing because of what we're trying to do with this face. The more slick it goes on now, as we put it on, the more slick it's gonna be and quicker it's gonna get slick later. We are going to go ahead and hop into face. My biggest tip as far as foundation when you want a full beat, but it is burning hot outside. Currently out here, it's like 95 degrees. <laughs> is that you wanna make sure that you use very lightweight products. So this is not the time to go reach for our full coverage products. We want to do stuff that's more buildable, more tinted moisturizers as well. So today I'm going to be using the tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. This is their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer and the shade I'm going to be using is Deep Dark 21W. And what I don't want to do is put on way too much so I'm going to be very careful with how much I apply to my face but I'm going to make sure that I am putting it everywhere so that we can blend it out the way we need to and this brush I'm using is also from ColourPop but I'm just blending out the tinted moisturizer the best way that I can if you can avoid putting makeup on your neck during the summertime sis please do but <laughs> I still like to put it on my neck for the consistency of the shade because my face and my neck are lighter than in my chest area so I try to bring that chest color all the way up but you know you can avoid it sis it's definitely a benefit to avoid it since we're gonna be sweating <laughs> But yeah, using a very lightweight formula is key to make sure that we ain't out here looking crazy when we start to sweat. I feel like when it's super, super hot outside, less is certainly more. We wanna look slightly natural because it will kinda allow like our natural do to come through and we don't look so made up. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. Another lightweight foundation that I would probably recommend, this tinted moisturizer is more affordable from ColourPop, but the Sheer Glow foundation from NARS, I would say is comparable to this tinted moisturizer, because I feel like it has the same feel. It goes on pretty much kind of the same consistency. But for me, Sheer Glow doesn't do anything for my oils. Like, I feel like I end up being extremely oily really, really quick. So that's why I did not go in with Sheer Glow. And hey, why not give you guys a good option and show you a good option that ain't gonna rob the bank so but I mean for my ladies that like to splurge go ahead in with the sheer glow so we are going to continue with lightweight products as far as concealer I am gonna use the pretty fresh concealer from ColourPop one tip that I will give you guys is to use a small amount this ain't the time to pile on the products so y'all know Maya I will pile it on I will pile it on but we ain't gonna do that today we are going to do pretty much the bare minimum of what we need to look beat to look flawless in the hot summer months i'm gonna go in right underneath the eye of course that's where we want it i'm not gonna bring it out too far i'm probably just gonna leave just that and do that on both sides go in my normal areas where i like to highlight and lastly on my forehead and that is it so I would recommend go ahead and letting your concealer dry down just a smidget. I still don't have a handheld <laughs> fan, which I really need to go ahead and make sure I pick up, but to go ahead and dry down the product to help it to last longer, I definitely want to do that today with my concealer. And one thing I'm also going to do to help it to last longer is spray it with some Urban Decay All Nighter. 
I should have done this right before I blended out the tinted moisturizer, but you know, we're, we're past that now. So I am going to spray the concealer though and wait a little second before we blend because we need all of the forces to help us today for everything to stick because y'all, it's getting hot out there and it's getting hot quick. Don't y'all feel like this year went by like, it's, it's already going by like super, super fast. It's June. Like, when did that happen? <laughs> It's like in quarantine, like the days were just like merging into each other. So it low key just feels like we just missed like some months. Like that's how I feel. Let me know in the comments if you guys feel the same way. Cause I for sure feel that way. I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend this out. And that is doing what I wanted to do. Um, if you have never tried letting your concealer sit before you blend it out, sis. I'm here to tell you, give it a try. There are a lot of beauty gurus, beauty influencers that do recommend you do that. And I am one of them who stands for that ever since I tried it. It definitely helps with the longevity of the product as well as the blendability, makes it kind of just more seamless. And I am gonna take this brush, it's called Beauty in the Base from MOTD Cosmetics. I love their brushes. I'm gonna use this to blend around my concealer just to, you know, make sure that we have a seamless blend between the tinted moisturizer color and our concealer. Now, if you are really serious about your makeup game <laughs> out here in the summer month, go waterproof as much as possible. Waterproof products are kind of like spackled. They're very hard to get off. But sis, if you got something to do and you going maybe to a wedding or something where you really want your makeup to stay and you don't really care the fact that it's going to be a little bit heavy in the hot summer months, go waterproof. That's in your liquid products, your cream products, as well as your powder products most importantly because that will help you know to set make everything waterproof we are going to go in with a waterproof powder here in a moment at this moment i would love to have the fenty cream bronzers because i feel like that would be just absolutely perfect right now so i am going to go in a little bit with a cream contour and this is the nars natural radiant in dark coffee but please believe if i did have a cream bronzer that's what i would be using just to give like that bronzer color more of a red tone but i'm gonna just go ahead and blend this out so before we pop in with powder, I am gonna take the excess of the concealer from my sponge and put it over my eyes because I am gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow and we're gonna go in with powder. I would recommend a matte powder. I was gonna go in with the Fenty one, but I have found that when I use like the Fenty one that's super, 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 super matte, yes, it seems like it will work out because it will help our makeup to not get as oily. However, when is the last time you saw some sweat drip right here under the eye? You know what I'm saying? I feel like it, it will make you more kind of cakey, especially since your sweat will probably come from the top of your face or you'll get the dewy look around the face. And then if you have this that's super like matted out and protected, it's gonna look more cakey against the rest of the face. Are you following me? I'm barely following myself, but I, I think I said it right. <laughs> I had them sitting right here, but we're going to stray away from that because I just realized that that is not what we want. I am gonna go in lightly with some Laura Mercier to set the lighter areas, but I am looking up while I'm pushing this into the under eye because I want it to get into those creases. I don't want it to set into creases so that the creases are there. That's why I'm looking upwards. We wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. And it's always good to use a sponge to press it in, like especially if you have oily skin, into the areas where you know you're gonna get oily. So I will always press it in with my sponge, nose area, under eyes, and the forehead. And then the rest of the face, I'll go in with a more fluffier brush. So my minted powder, I'm gonna go in with a more fluffy brush. And I'm going to put that all over the rest of the face to set our foundation. So many people forget, you gotta set your foundation. When everything is cream and liquid, especially when you're trying to have more of a sweat proof look, you gotta set it all. And I'm also gonna go into my smile lines. Y'all know I have a problem with that. And I do do that with a sponge as well. Now, typically I actually just realized I did not put on my blush. I was supposed to put on a cream blush. <laughs> but if you do want to wear blush, it is my recommendation that you wear a blush that's more of a cream product as well as a highlighter. So I am first, before we go in with this next powder, I'm gonna go into this NARS Overlust Cheek Palette. And these have cream highlighters in it. I'm gonna dip into this middle one right here. And I'm gonna use this to put 
oh, on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna take my brush and highlight down the nose, my cubic bow and everything because we're about to go in with something here in a moment that's gonna help that to stick in place. Now, if you're a person who doesn't like a super bright highlighter you don't or you want it to be more subtle i would recommend doing this step before you even set with the other powder because after you put the powder on it it'll mute it a little bit and make it a little less popping whereas i still want it to be slow key subtle but i want to see it y'all know i like a nice highlight popping highlight i am putting it over that powder before we go in with our waterproof powder but i recommend that especially when you're trying to make sure that your sweat is not coming through and your oils aren't coming through using a cream product and then going in with a powder product later on to set it or to reinforce it gives you two layers of that product so even if you start sweating or even if you get oily and something sweats off and the powder comes off you still got that underlying cream that is there to help you still have a little shine, you know, a little, little more time in the game before you, they count you out, you know? So we are gonna go in with a waterproof powder. The powder I'm gonna use today is from Urban Decay. This is their all nighter waterproof setting powder. And it is a lighter powder, so we ain't gonna get too crazy with this. But I'm gonna take this brush from Laura Mercier. I am going to dip into this powder and you just put a light layer of powder where you want it to stay the most and this compact does have a mirror thank the lord so <laughs> i'm going in a little bit more on the under eyes since we do want a lighter under eye but i'm also going to with a brush that's not as focused as that one i'm gonna take a little bit and just go over our highlighted areas as well and other places where we don't want things to move i'm even going to dust over my brows and i'm hoping i'm hoping that this is really gonna help us to stay nice and matte throughout the day to make sure that nothing is moving. But since this is a translucent type of powder, it is okay to put over the other parts of the face. I'm a crier. I cry like on commercials. <laughs> Don't judge me. But you know how you cry when you have makeup on and you can see, like after it dries a little bit, you can see the tear going by your face. This is perfect for that. If you just dust very strategically under the eye, and in that area, when you do get tears, it won't leave as much of a mark. Sometimes it won't leave one at all. So for my ladies who are going to a wedding, this is just stuff. So when you're doing a summertime look and you want it to be sweat proof, the last thing that you want to do is go in with a deeper, darker eye. I would recommend going extremely light, especially if it's like your everyday makeup look for summertime. It is my recommendation that you go as light as possible. So, that being said, we are going to take our bronzer, which we need to use, we haven't done yet. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and bronze. Well, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna take my bronzer, and this, and this is not a very deep bronzer. This is the ABH and Minted one in season one. And I don't wanna go in with a super deep bronzer because we're going for a more natural summer look. This just brings more color back into the skin that we feel like we might have lost a little bit. But yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I don't have any creases on my eyes. I'm not gonna go in with any more concealer though. I am gonna go ahead and take a clean blending brush and just put this color into the corners of my eyes. I guess it doesn't necessarily go with, you know, being sweat proof, but as far as having consistency on your face and looking a little more natural out in the sun, I like the idea of having the same shade on your face in general. So we have our bronzer on, that same shade is in the corners of our eyes. It just kind of pulls everything together and doesn't make you look like you was doing the most, you know? So I did go ahead and do the rest of it off camera so that I knew exactly what I was gonna do for y'all. So so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take a liquid shimmer, I guess. I was gonna use two different ones. This one is from Laura Mercier and it's in Gilded Fresco. And this one is from Deck of Scarlet in Melting Rose. But I want to go for like a rose gold glimmering eye. Since we want this to be long lasting, that is the reason why I'm gonna go in kind of with a glimmering base. Did y'all see that? How was passages? Okay, let me just fix it. <laughs> Apparently my lash was not dry. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to go in with a base first and then put a powder on top so that we have even more of a long lasting eye look. So I'm gonna mix both of these and put them on the eye. You gotta work with these very, very quickly. I would say that this is more of an advanced product. <laughs> so don't shoot me, but I'm gonna put them both on the eye, mix them, and then with a flat 
eyeshadow brush start to move them around and I'm patting this I'm not swiping especially since it is a cream product I want to pretty much make sure that the edges are not super harsh all the way around is my goal here I'm gonna take my crease color which was my bronzer and just make sure it's blended here on the side and kind of bring it up over the eye as well to kind of create like a crease situation. And of course you can use whatever color combination you want, but I want it to go for a more rose gold look. So to match this eye shade, I'm gonna dip into my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette and I'm going to dip into Gold Glitch with my finger and I'm going to press it right on top of the base that I have there. I want to do this first and then I'm gonna go in with a brush, but it's, this is going to set that liquid eyeshadow underneath. And if you blend it on the edges with this, it also helps with the blendability of it. So essentially using that as an eyeshadow base and then going in with the powder that is very similar or pretty much the same will help this to last all day. Like I said, we are gonna be doing a wear test on this. So I will be back with you guys later. I do want a little bit of a liner. So I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner this one is from Ofra. I don't want to wing it or anything, so I'm just going to bring it from the middle of the lid all the way over to the end and fill it out. There are plenty of waterproofers, liquid eyeliners out there, but this ain't got one right now. So what I'm going to do is go on top of that with a matte black eyeshadow. And that's going to help it to last a little bit longer throughout the day. Then I'm going to go ahead and pop on my lashes. Then on the bottom lash line, I'm going in a little bit with my bronzer just for a little bit of a shadow. You do want to wear a waterproof mascara as well for a sweat proof face. But first I'm going to go in with a nude liner on the bottom just to open my eyes up a little more. And the one I'm using is from NARS. You see how that just opens up the eye? It's perfect for like hotter weather. You want to look nice and airy. And and then you go in with a waterproof mascara. I don't know if I have one, I feel like I do, but. So I'm gonna go into the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay on my bottom lash line, and I'm being very careful just to hit the hairs and not my skin. And I'm also doing the NARS highlighter as well for my inner corner highlight, and this is the cream highlighter. And then from there, you can go ahead on top of your highlighter with a powder highlighter. So I am very lightly going to use this Shimmer Loose Powder from Ofra. This is in the shade Bronze. And whew, this powder is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, since we do have it underneath as a cream, even if this kind of comes off throughout the day, we still have it locked in with that waterproof powder underneath. And I'm also using this underneath my brow bone and y'all, this powder is super dope. It is like so <laughs> pigmented and I love it. Just like that perfect like gold shade. Yes, yes, no complaints there. So before we go in with lips, I do wanna go ahead and set the face. We're gonna go back into all the All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray from Urban Decay. And apparently I sprayed a whole lot today. I'm gonna push it in with my sponge and this is going to help it to stay all day and it also is allowing it to dry down as well. Now, I am not gonna go in with a lipstick today but I did wanna give you guys some tips as far as wearing lipstick when you want it to stay. The biggest thing is if you want your lipstick to stay is to put powder on top of it. <laughs> Period. I'm not gonna do it, but if you do a liquid lipstick or you do, matter of fact, no. First of all, don't do a dry liquid lipstick in the summertime. Sis, that ain't it. But if you do like a cream formula and you want it to stay all day, if you just take a brush kind of like this and just pat it over your lips, once you have that lipstick, it will last all day. But I'm gonna go in with a lip gloss today. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like when you are trying to have a sweat proof face and you're trying to you know do things to help you during the hot weather I feel like wearing a lipstick is just extra work that you just don't have to deal with so it would be my recommendation to just go ahead and pop on a gloss and the gloss I'm gonna use is the Mulan gloss from ColourPop just because I feel like it's similar to what's going on in the eyes we have like this really pretty frosty look okay so I'm gonna go ahead and live my life and have my day so right now it is 320 I hope y'all can see that, but it's 327. I'm gonna be back with you guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe around 11. Let's give it eight hours. Around 11 o'clock, I am gonna go out somewhere today. I gotta go to Target, give me some food. I'll be editing. I will just be living my life and it's super hot outside. I will check back in with you guys to show you what happened with the face. And we gonna see how it's looking. 
Right. Okay, y'all. So it is 1047. I cannot wait <laughs> until 1130 because sis is tired. <laughs> but I wanted to just show you guys, get a little more up close and personal to show you guys what we're looking like with the tips that I gave earlier. And I have been outside. I have sweat today. I also shed a few tears watching a Netflix show. So I've been through some things today. <laughs> um, I was outside taking selfies and taking videos and all types of stuff so we have went through some weather and I feel like it looks really good considering the situations I've been in today so if you look up close we don't have a lot of creasing on the under eye which is amazing which is great the eyeshadow looks good it's not creasing too much at all and that was the goal of using the liquid underneath the powder we can still see our highlight very much we do have a little oily situation in the nose area maybe on the forehead area but nothing too bad I feel like all we need to do is just like blot a little bit one thing I will say though that I didn't say earlier in the video is that you don't want to like put extra powder on your face when it's hot outside you want to go ahead and just blot so even if you have like your sponge with some makeup on it or if you have like blotting papers like they sell with Fenty Beauty it's easy just to fix the situation like I'm not gonna put anything on this sponge but I'm just gonna dab the face and I'm already feeling better and i wanted to show you guys the face without me touching it but if we just dab everywhere without putting on any extra product we are almost looking good as new eight hours seven and a half okay seven hours ago <laughs> so i would say that the tips work all right, y'all. Thank you so much for checking out our sweat proof routine today. I hope you guys did take some good tips from this. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if you use any of these tips or if you plan on using them and if you did, how it worked out for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. Also, make sure you hit subscribe below if you have not yet. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.